This is your uh, Extreme Movie Box. We're just going to go over a couple things that it comes with and also some of the ports and stuff on the box and just kind of explain to you what it comes with. So when you unbox it, when you open it up, this is your box here. Just pull this little flap up here. It comes with your remote, your HDMI cable, and your power cord. On the box here, there's a number of USBs. You got your, if you have an older TV and you've requested for the AV option, this is where your AV plugs in and then it goes into the color coordinated ports on the back of your TV. You got your HDMI port, your ethernet, and then this is where your power cord plugs in. Um, you just plug your power cord into here, plug it into your wall, and then you got your HDMI cable, which it comes with. Once you get this unpackaged, you plug this into your box here, like that. Make sure it's all the way in. And then you plug this into the HDMI port into your TV. On your remote, you got your backspace button, the little arrow pointing back, your home button, your arrows, you know, you're okay. And that's that's pretty much all you should you should need and you're good to go. Once you power it all up, it's going to come to this screen here. Once this screen, you see this, you just maneuver over to settings. And then you hit up Wi-Fi if you have Wi-Fi, or if you have ethernet, you hit more, and it will, you, you see your ethernet there. You, it, it should already automatically connect though, if it's ethernet, if it's Wi-Fi, you're going to click on Wi-Fi. I've already connected it, but you hit Wi-Fi, the your your Wi-Fi, um, whatever your name is, and then it will ask for your password. You enter your password and you hit OK, and then make sure that it says connected. If it says authentication problem, that means you typed it in wrong, but make sure that it says connected before you back out of this screen. Once you've done that, you go here to the blue K at the bottom of the screen. So now that your box is all loaded up and you've got this screen here, you're going to want to go to Programs, Program Add-ons, and then Configure Wizard. The box is going to seem a little slow at first. It's going to be updating everything while you're trying to uh, maneuver through it. If you get this, um, it says it's been marked incompatible. It's because a newer version of the add-on has come out. Um, these have been boxed up for you know anywhere from two months to a week. So new stuff is constantly coming out. You just hit yes. You might get a couple of them. You might not get any of them. Uh, just depending on when the box was last plugged in. Once you get this screen, you maneuver over to Android. It's going to ask you if you would like TV add-ons to customize your add-on selection. Once you hit yes, it's going to update all uh, your box to all the newest, uh, latest and greatest stuff. Once you've clicked yes, it's going to be downloading. Um, that's the first screen you'll see. You'll see the the percentage bar go to 100%, then it'll switch to extracting the zip, which is just getting all the newest stuff. Um, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner about right now where it's going to be updating in the bottom right hand corner. Some of the things will say failed, but they'll, once, once this program's done, it'll reconfigure them and, and they'll update automatically. Once you get this, everything's all done and set up, you hit OK. Takes you back to the home screen. Sometimes it'll even kick you out of the program so that you have to restart the program. Um, stuff will be updating in the bottom right hand corner for a little while. I suggest just 
letting it sit there for a couple minutes and let everything update. If you try to maneuver to through certain things and files and add-ons, it'll it'll seem slow to you. It'll just frustrate you. So I think it's pretty much wrapped up on the updating. That could take anywhere from you know five minutes to thirty minutes, depending on your internet connection. Once everything's updated, um, you maneuver over here to Exodus, and that's where you're going to watch all your movies and TV shows. Um, if Exodus is ever being fixed or maintained or something, we put these other two on here so you can use them. Uh, they pretty much do the same exact thing. You go into them, select movies and TV shows. Uh, one quick thing, if, if Exodus seems like it's not working right or sometimes new updates come out and it takes a minute for the device to realize it has a new update. So if you just go under here and you hit add-ons and scroll to the bottom to get more and then find the program that seems to not be running right or slow or I'll just do this one for example it gives you an opportunity right here to update it make sure it's on auto update but then you just hit that and it'll update it there and then you can go back to your home screen and it should work great but once you hit Exodus It'll load movies or TV shows. Then you can search by any number of these things, genre, most popular, um, people search, search, down at the bottom. I'll show you how to pull up a movie and play it. Right now it's connecting to all the providers throughout the world and it's going to pull up a list. You just select the top one and it will automatically pick the best one for your internet connection. Just select the top one. It will automatically pull up this screen and it will sift through them. It could change from number one all the way to 200. And then your movie pulls up and plays. So if you bought one of these keyboards from us for your Extreme Movie Box, I'm just going to show you a couple things, what this comes with, and also how to hook it into your box. And this is optional. Once you unbox it, it's going to look just like this. You got your power cord, your power button right here. It's nice to turn that on and off when you're not using it to save your battery. The batteries are rechargeable. They come with this cord inside the box. Um, to charge it, if the char battery goes dead, you plug the little end into the key board, and then you plug this into a USB charger like a computer or a wall plug. If you flip it over, push up on the back, it shows you the rechargeable battery. Also, you're gonna see a little USB thing here. You grab that. Once you get your box, you pull this out. You stick this in one with just any one of your USB ports. Don't force it because there is a certain way that it goes in. If it won't go in one way, you just flip it over and put it in the other way. Just like that. It should be pretty much flush. You should only see a piece of the silver um, once you get that in there, you just turn on. You'll see the blue lights and the yellow light, and you're good to go. On the keyboard itself, you got your fast forward and rewind right here, your volume up and down. Then you got your left click and your right click. Um, backspacing from page to page, you know, on your box is going to be done through right click. That's how you go back or you can do backspace right there. And then you got your arrows, just like the remote, your okay, and your home button. So that's how you hook that up. Thanks for using our product.